Himawati's chakra has surpassed Naruto's. That's right, the little girl we saw cuddling a teddy bear is now stronger than the seventh Hokage himself. But it doesn't stop there. She's got her own nine tails chakra mode. Like, that's crazy, lad. Like, Himawati's power boost has sparked a massive debate among fans. Some are saying she's now the strongest character in the Naruto universe. I've been telling y'all for a year long that Himawari gonna end up being the strongest person in this whole series. Even surpassing all her predecessors as per the manga. Yes, that includes Baruto, and yes, that includes Kawaki. We just got the reveal that not only does Himawari have the nine tails in her, she can also access the damn power, bro. And this has led to some wild claims, like Himawari soloing the One Piece verse. Can you imagine her taking on Luffy and his crew, like Gear 5? But not everyone is happy about this. The One Piece fandom clapped back hard, saying even Oda couldn't save the Boruto series now. It's been a full-on war between fans and it's pretty entertaining to watch to be honest. And then there's this theory that Kishimoto is just pulling stuff out of nowhere. Like some fans think bringing Madara would fix everything, but other fans are saying if Himawari really has this new mode, it just highlights how bad Boruto's storyline has become. Now, one of the biggest questions fans are asking is, What's the point of Naruto's intense training he underwent, you know, with Killy B in that waterfall to harness Kurama's chakra when Himawari can just activate the power like ASAP, like instantly? It kind of undermines all the hard work we've seen from Naruto all those episodes over the years. Don't even get me started on that infinite Tsukuyomi theory. Some people still believe Boruto is just a dream, like crazy, but... And now we have Honey Bear commenting that the theory that the infinite Tsukuyomi worked isn't so bad now. Lastly, fans are literally asking, what is Boruto even about at this point? So let's talk about Himawati's new baby fox Kurama and her KCM mode. First off, how does this change the dynamic of the Uzumaki family? We've got Naruto, who was already a legend, but now his daughter is potentially even stronger. You know, Inojin getting railed could actually be the best thing for the Boruto series and hopefully brings back all our favorite characters and save the show like Kurama came back. Naruto and Sasuke, slim chance, but we said the same thing about Kurama coming back, but now he's back to save the day with Himawari. So just bring back Sasuke while we're at it, you know? Like, have you ever seen a man suffer more than Sasuke? He lost his eye, Rinnegan. He lost his humanity. He's now Sus Tree, Utriha. Mans was so busy, he never came home to see Sakura. He practically lost all that time with his wife, his family, his arm. He gave up everything for a Boruto. It's in the realm of possibility seeing that Kurama came back. Now going back to my point about Himawari just magically learning the Ninetale Chakra mode. Will we see flashbacks or how she unlocked this new power? We don't really get much of an explanation of how she gained control of Kurama without training at the waterfall like Killer B and Naruto underwent. Like, did she just discover this ability on her own? Like, maybe she doesn't have the Rinnegan, but rather she could be in a Sutsuki too and just copied Naruto. Like, oh, hey, I can do those fox powers too because I'm a cheating Osutsuki who can do anything because Shinjutsu. These are the questions we need answers to. Now, let's get into the theories. Naruto and Kawaki both stop their fight to go check on Himawari. If you are not understanding what Kishimoto is trying to do here, if you are not seeing the exact direction Kishimoto is trying to go in, you are not watching Kishimoto enough. Himawari is going to follow the footsteps of her father. He's going to be the main reason that the protagonists win this war. In the future, when Barjo becomes possessed and nobody in the series is going to be strong enough to stop him, guess who is going to be the one? Uh, you guessed it. Himawari is going to be the one to make the difference in this series and I predict that she will have something to do with stopping Barjo. Another fan thinks Himawari will pack up Boruto because Boruto will kill naruto boruto is going to kill naruto right himawari is not going to have any choice but to fight boruto and himawari will be the one to stop boruto not kawaki and potentially a himawari training arc and then there's this theory that boruto actually has his own pocket dimension so there's speculation that boruto inherited a pocket dimension of his own from momoshiki very similar to how kawaki inherited the daikokunin from ishiki and it was so random that even ishiki was like where the fuck are we like literally no one had any clue where they were, not Ishiki, Naruto, or Sasuke. But what I find interesting is that it looked eerily similar to where Boruto is housing Sasuke's body currently. So it's very possible that both Naruto and Sasuke are resting in a pocket dimension. But here's what makes it interesting. We know that the Dai Kokonen has a special characteristic and it's that time does not exist. We also know that Kaguya had pocket dimensions of her own and each of them had special characteristics as well. 
So that leads me to question, if all Otsutsukis have pocket dimensions and they usually have special characteristics, what's special about Boruto's pocket dimension? Kishimoto tends to work in trends, and what I mean by that are things are rarely random. They're usually interconnected or related to something else. There's a reason why Boruto has Sasuke where he's at. I'm just not sure what it is yet, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Another fan thinks that her powers are just the beginning of a new arc, where we might even see more powerful characters emerge. Oh, bro. Oh, my gosh. She looks so cold. Sheesh. Hey, bro. Hey. But, hey, everybody right now, type rest in peace in the chat. That boy, Eno Gene. Eno Gene really got his shit. He, wow. He's a donut. What is with animes? What Matter of fact, what is with Boruto? The Boruto anime and making people donuts. He got that Neji treatment, bro. This event may very well be what Boruto needed to regain its former glory. Or it could be the end of the Boruto series. Who knows? What do you think about all this in the comments? Let me know.